Wow. 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 Uh, I just realized this wasn't even on me. See, I'm out of practice. It's one of these videos. It, it, things aren't going well, <laughs> okay? It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. All right, so I got the my box. Seal of approval, we have not cracked it yet. Now, in the delivery instructions, there's no special instructions, but in the delivery instructions, I said, please put the pepperoni on top of the cheese. Because when you get double pepperoni, because you get three toppings on this pizza, so I got double pepperoni, they tend to put it underneath the cheese and that defeats the purpose of a pepperoni and pizza cheese because you need to have the pepperoni on top so you get the crispy edges and the greasy cups, okay? So we're gonna find out together <laughs> if anybody noticed in the delivery instructions my uh, request, okay? Please let it be true. And they didn't. Oh man. Why have a pepperoni pizza? It almost looks like there's not even double on this anyways. Why have a pepperoni pizza and have not the pepperoni on top of the cheese? I don't get when Pizza Hut started doing this. They used to always put it on top and I don't get why. I'm so <laughs> Anyhow, it's fine. We're grateful. We're grateful. Am I not allowed to be choosy with my, my food, with what I pay for? I don't know. Anyways. I also got some uh, buffalo bites here in the my box. The my box is the hottest deal smoking for sure. These are honey barbecue. We'll see if they sauce them up. Any good? Nope, they're like half dry. Like that's not a sauced up nugget at all. So Pizza Hut, you're on a fail today. Big a time. But anyways, keeping it crispy with just the water. We're also trying out cinematic mode on the iPhone today. I'm trying a different camera situation, but I haven't been with y'all in some weeks here. Uh, start of spring, summer is busy and demanding, and I haven't had a Pizza Hut crush in so, so long, so I'm so looking forward to this. Let's get a dirty bite with the runny rays. I just don't get the whole pepperoni under the cheese. Like, what an amateur, like, I don't get it. It's 50% less delicious immediately because you just don't have those crispy, greasy, crusty, burnt edge pepperonis. It just doesn't make sense. That golden bottom. But yeah, anyways. Life life have been busy. My parents return home from their getaways and all that family and then spring was like yard work yard work going to the dump out with the old and with the new trimming trees leaves and shit and just lots of excess stuff So I've been a little demotivated. In terms of the tube, I've just been focusing on, on other things. Mainly, or one of those things is that my stepbrother and his wife own a motel, a small motel in a remote area that you drive through called Kekabeka. Um, they have like a scenic 
uh, um, there's falls out there, waterfalls, like Kakabeka Falls is called. And um, <coughs> it's a tourist, dusty type place in the summer for people traveling on their summer travels from east to west in Canada. And then people come up from America, Minnesota, namely, to do a lot of fishing. But anyways, what I was saying was, this place called Hackerbacker Falls. Stepbrother has a motel out there. It's literally one strip of like a couple hotels, a couple motels, a couple gas stations, a grocery store, and in the summer they have like a shake shop and a little food eatery thing one restaurant and uh then my stepbrother's motel has this patio this beautiful patio that he doesn't really use for much yet and they wanted to get to offer some food and i went out there to help him out the other weekend i hang out and we just visit and stay like a little getaway it's half an hour out of town. And uh, I was like, yo, you should let me do like a pop-up here and I'll make a menu and uh, do, you know, three days a week or something like that, right? Like Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And offer food out there. So he was stoked. He's like, yeah, he's like, we want somebody to do that. We've been trying to figure that out. You could be the guy. It will take up some startup costs and some logistics, like some health code permit shit for the selling of food because you have to pass inspections and stuff. But it shouldn't be too difficult, although the time frame, like who knows how quickly those things can get finished or resolved. But that would be sweet if like three days a week I can have a, almost like a, a small test run of an idea of what it would like to be to, you know, have the menu and source some things and have like a small like my first small trial at running a food cool pop up food stand so I've been in works with that that's also been taking my time a lot of random shit taking my time In other news, this might be old news to you by now, but I don't know if, I'm sure I've talked about them before, but I don't know if any of you have ever watched them. But there's a YouTuber, this old guy named Feature Man, Tom Willett. And uh, he would just do almost like mukbangs like he would review like very cheap freezer foods and make really cheap like old school <laughs> like war era style meals cooking because he's a very old old man and uh I guess someone dug into his past and back when he was in Hollywood, like when he was a younger guy. He was convicted of two, like a few counts of pedophilia.
luring young boys like co-hosts or like co-star boys in his acting life into like doing sexual acts with him and he like went to court and shit he fought it he went he did a little bit of time just in jail while he's like waiting to fight his try like to do his trial but he was exposed as, as like a pet predator pedo from way back in the day in his early life which is so crazy that people somehow will dig into an old man's whole entire history by hair um the laws were so much more loose back then so like he never did time or anything and he got basically away with it got off scot-free and um and then he because i used to watch his videos i kind of liked feature man and uh He has since removed the last, like, he deleted, like, six years worth of videos, basically. Last I checked, his channel's still up, but... He's trying to... I don't know, make it seem like he doesn't didn't, doesn't exist anymore, you know, like YouTube wise, but still keeping his channel. It's it, it's a weird move. But if you go to his most recent like videos that are still up from like years ago, but the ones that are like at the top. <laughs> the comments get pretty wild. He definitely came under some fire, that's for sure. Lots of people getting at him. So very interesting. The skeletons in people's past. You thought he was a chill old man from old Hollywood who was lonely and just wanted to make YouTube videos. Turns out he's a sexual predator. Not really that funny though, but yeah, turns out he's a sexual predator at some point in his life. But as you would suspect, back then, it's like, the rules for everything were so, such, so, way less strict, I feel, especially in Hollywood, where that shit goes down all the time, even to this day, it was probably like standard practice or commonplace back then. Uh, most people probably just turned a blind eye because they were like, eh, well, that's how it is. It is what it is. Like, that's the industry we work in. But yeah, just a random little kind of shocking thing I stumbled across recently. So yeah, I'm so annoyed that the mic wasn't attached for the first bit. Hopefully it's not horrendously terrible. If I crank the volume, it was beside me over here on the table, so you should probably still be able to hear me decent, but we'll see. We'll see how this... Oh, these things again. How these, uh, how this camera turns out. All right, I'm pretty jacked. Summer's almost here, basically, and uh, things are just, you know, that energy, that weather, just things get so much better during that time. So until the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well. Stay true.
If you like this content, please like, comment, and subscribe, as well as check out my pinned comment down below to find other ways to support this channel. Thank you for watching, eat good, live well, and stay true.